I got to be honest with you. This is both the happiest and the saddest. No. In you know, run through we're going to do it the whole nam. I'm happy because I get to spend 10 minutes with Diane again and I'm sad because it's her last ever nam show working for Martin. Yeah, well, you know, the thing is I'll forever be identified with the Martin guitar. So when I do concerts, I'll still be talking to people, but this part I think I'd rather just do gigs right now. The well, idea was, why don't I stop while I still absolutely love it? I don't, but yeah, it's, you know, look, life moves on in this wonderful journey. So for the last time ever, Diane, Here's would you our please new tour. take it away? All right, baby. Tell me everything now that is Martin. Now check this out, Taylor. This is called an 8.2. What kind of name is that for a guitar? A CEO 8.2. CEO because it was the design of Chris Martin. The first one, 8.0, looked like a you-know-what, had the pineapple you-know-what, and uh, Henry you-know-what didn't like that. Right. So we cleaned it up and it became the 8.1. So this is our 8.2. It's actually a Martin Grand Jumbo shape with three tr you know, transitional braces down here. The finish is called a bourbon finish. Yep. Ebony bridge and fingerboard. Notice the bridge pins. Liquid yeah. metal, proven to make it louder. Yep. This is all certified wood, European spruce top, mahogany back and sides, ebony fingerboard and bridge, Cluson style tuning oh, yeah, gears. Cool. Excellent guitar at this price range. But what if you want a pickup? So we got Fishman to put what we call a black stack. And this is a very specially designed pickup system that Fishman did for this guitar. I love it. I love, I actually really like the sound of those Fishman sound hole pickups as well. It's um, almost hollow body sound, right? Yeah, it reminds me more of that kind of, I don't know, the John Lennon-y kind of where you get an acoustic guitar. Sounds a bit more like an electric guitar. Exactly. Sounds cool. Um, like it comes with that cool case. Oh, that is cool. You see that over there? This is a, a signature model of a very, very famous American songwriter Let me come around this that way. nobody's going to know in the UK named John Prine. Right. But one, the, the really outstanding part about this, John Prine wrote Angel from Montgomery, which a lot of people know that yep. tune. That's why the, the wings are on the headstock. John Prine, in his illustrious career as a songwriter, yep. only used for every recording, every gig, and every composition, one D28. So this is a copy of that guitar. It's very pretty. And that's amazing. I like the wings. Yeah. I like the wings. But Lee, these are really cool. This is a very exciting. Now, oh, 16 series. Now yes. the 16, remember Pete, the 16 series was the first affordable scallop braced Martin guitar. Yeah. Because it had the A-frame on the top, scallop bracing on the bottom, right? But we needed a refresh, okay? So first, using indigenous American tone woods. So the Dreadnought, whether it has a cutaway or non-cutaway, features sycamore. Okay. And sycamore, as people will, has kind of a mahogany koa feel, bright but warm. But check this out, that beautiful kind of aluminum yeah, binding. Yeah, just seeing that. The, the Waverly style tuners to, to match the feel, ebony, Fingerboard, bridge, head plate. It's, it's weird in the way that I think if someone had just told me about this without being able to see it and said, oh yeah, the binding is gray and white and red, and, and I'd be like, really? really? But it kind of works, doesn't it? And I love this bull nose down here that the binding doesn't go down here. Yeah. It has the Fishman volume and tone with the enhancer. But the really cool part, look at the depth. Oh, it's a little shallower. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's a really modern dreadnought. Yeah. This one, the orchestra model, is cherry. Cherry? Okay. So we're using, you know, with the sides thing on rosewood, it's going to yeah. get really heavy. Yeah. I so, think, well, we talked about that last year, didn't we? I mean, it, it's just 
got to try some new woods and you know some are going to sound cool and some aren't i'm guessing you i'm sure cool. yeah, i was going to say for every one of these that makes it i bet there's probably like five prototypes using different woods and someone went no that's not cool that's right um but uh we've and, worked with cherry before yeah because it's really all of the wood on here is certified yeah so that's really cool yeah it's important over here for the real Martin historic weenies. In 1919, we made two right. triple O 30s. What's a 30? I, I raised my hand at the meeting. What's a 30? I never heard of a 30. We called it a 30 only because of this rope inlay. But this guitar had a historic, really historic meaning. It was the first time Martin stopped using elephant ivory. Okay. All the way back in, what did you, 1919? 1919. And they and stopped using ivory. It was the first time that the company did not attach the headstock to the neck with a dovetail. Yeah. One neck. Madagascar, this guitar has no truss rod because okay. it's an authentic copy. Yep. Of course, hide glue and all that other stuff. Now everybody's going to be, they saw your two millionth. Yes. Excuse me, guys, for one second. Hi, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Good. This is the one you can buy. It's only $149,999. It comes with a nice watch, though, doesn't it? Comes it comes with a very nice oh, watch. Oh, we didn't get a close-up of this yesterday, so that would be good. We'll get that, too. But look, I have to tell you, it takes four guitars worth of wood to make this. Well, we, 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 talked, to, we talked to Tim, the guy that designed, you know, the guy right. that made it. Wonderful. And it was just, when I first saw this, I just assumed that the... Um, the stuff on the back was artwork and he's like no no, no it's not i didn't paint that he said that's literally Ingrid. every single piece of this is a, is a cut out cast you know whether it's um Look at it. oh it's just incredible oh no because sorry i'm thinking the the, the, the original, original one is this one as so, well but this is still inlaid with um like mother of pearl and all yeah, kinds of stuff isn't it it's a crazy it's a it's a is crazy it? guitar i mean this. and it's brazilian of course yeah and check out the watch look it's a shame we can't show you the back of the watch because you now can see the all the... Now look at the tuning gears. The, the etching on that is the same etching on the watch and it's called guiloche and you can see that here as well. Mad, isn't it? Awesome, right. Now let me show you a great guitar for the UK. I love this guitar. It's a 0028. Yep. So style 28 in a 00 shape. It's very Quarter pretty. inch scallop braces. Sounds amazing. Pete. Pete. 0028. Oh, wow. Quarter inch scallop braces. Isn't it great? So, Because the 0018 did so well. Yep. Yeah. So now, it's great, right? In the X series, which is a really affordable series, we have that CEO 7 shape. Is that new as well? Well, that was new from Summer Nam. Right, okay. But this is new for here. X series in this. CEO 7 shape. I think it's only really now people are beginning to realize how forward thinking Martin were with the X series. It's like this whole. Remember, we've, you, we've you, talked about this so much. And everybody was like, oh, Stradabud neck. Martin guitar, what are you going to make sneakies in Thailand next? You know, yo, this is the future of what, would, yeah. of what the guitar industry is going to be copying, guaranteed. Yep. Let me show you, this is cool too. The first travel guitar was a backpacker. Yep, I remember. Well, 25 we still sell years these. ago. Was it really 25 years? Over 300,000 units. So this is the anniversary yep. edition. And another now, anniversary. If I was up Sh Creek without a paddle, that's what I'd want with me. <laughs> 100 years ago, 
was the first time we put ukuleles in the catalog. So here's a Centennial three style, made in Nazareth, yep. and a Centennial one, made in Mexico, plus a new X series bamboo okay. style. What a, would you? Um, is bamboo kind of a traditional wood for Hawaii? It's not it's, real. It's not oh, okay. real. Okay, so it's, it's like HBL. a bamboo veneer thing. Oh, it's a cool. bamboo photograph. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say Complete now, with where we're going now is an explosion of artistic creativity. The Martin Custom Shop is let off the leash at Winter Nam. And they are, they design one of a kind guitars that are unseen before using, I'm gonna show you something that's gonna blow your mind. Ready? Uh, I'm doing it. Oh, I'm excited about this. You know what we're seeing? The pinnacle. Yes. The pinnacle of every guitar Collector's Wet Dream is a 1937 D28. They go for $80,000 now. All right, so we made Authentics to make it just like that. But they didn't look like the old ones. Yep. This is a new guitar. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I do know the... Um, look, the, the, look the, at the buckle rash. I know, the, the relic, I know relics divide opinion. Uh, but we don't call it a relic. We call it aged. But yeah, I, I, Look at that. I can't. I'm. I am absolutely in the camp of. If it looks cool, I don't care whether it's a new one made to look cool or an old one. I just think if it looks cool, I like it. Here's but. the thing: we didn't take, we didn't take an authentic and relic it. Right. We from scratch. We did this. Okay. Now look at the pick guard. The way it's kind of both, like sort so of. So you know um, what we did? We took a pick guard from an old 1937 one in the factory, made a mold of it. Right. The lacquer today, the lacquer that we use today, is too good. It won't, it won't yellow in color like this. So we have to use airplane lacquer, which will do, which will behave like this. So this is. Yeah, exactly. So to do this. We can't take a new one and do it. We have to, it's a, a, this process is a pathway. I love the way that the lack has sunk into the, the wood and exactly. so you can begin to feel the grain of the wood. Now, through. I think this Does is this sound like a cannon? Is it just ridiculous? Well, Peter. Come on. Let's, let's get Peter to just do a bit here. Yeah. I'll, I'll point the mic at you. You want to pick, honey? Oh, okay. okay. Sure. That looks amazing, and it feels amazing. We're only doing 50 of these this year. Wow. Are they mega expensive? 10 grand. Dollars. Yeah, but that's, you that's can buy the same now, isn't it? eight of them. We can yep. buy eight of them for the price of the original. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's. I don't know how well you guys heard that in here, and it's tough for us to hear it with all the ambient noise, but it's, it's it had a mellowness to it that, again, you don't often get on brand new guitars. Let me show you feels, something else. It feels like that as well. Now, one of the things about the custom shop that I think is extraordinary is their willingness to do the courageous. Ooh. Yes. So no one's ever done inlay on the inside. On the inside, yeah. So they were left to their, I mean, this is called curly macaray. It's an African wood. Um, so spin it around a bit more. The inlays are spectacular. On the inside, check out the inside. Check out the ends of the back braces. The, the, look, I get, look at the inlay on the on the block. Look at the inside of the block, Lee. I always, I always, I always oh God, up there you mean? With the serial number and everything, it's all inlaid. Everything is inlaid. Look at the back strip. But I always kind of think on these rosettes around here, these these aren't like a single thing that you drop in as a rosette. Right. Every single one of these little details is individually put in, isn't it? Amazing. Now, the person, I like the bear claw kind of. Um, quite often, when you see bear claw on a spruce top, it's not book matched, so it almost looks out of place. But the fact that this, like, sort of lightning or something, isn't it, coming down the guitar is cool. 
these are all sold on a lottery basis. Oh, really? And if the person who buys this is also going to oh, get it. nice. Because this is all the inlay that you can't see on the inside. There's a, a country player named Dwight Yoakam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is his signature model. Look at the pick guard. It's meant to look like the bullhorns of a steer. So all of these guitars are one-offs. This is one of my favorite one-offs. Look at this. What wood is that? Maple. This is bird? No, this is no, bird's eye maple, mahogany. It's got it almost, where it's lighter, almost like a koa yeah, kind stain. of um, tinge to it or something, but that's beautiful. Gorgeous, isn't it? Now look at this inlay. And this is just like, this is not like the guitar you're gonna take to the pub or anything. This is just to show how outrageous the custom shop can get. Should have put a literally Each look. one of these pieces yep. is a different piece of wood. And the way they shaded it was dipping it in hot sand. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. This is a, absolutely one of my favorites. You're gonna love this too. This is a D18 Authentic yep. with a performing artist neck shape and an adjustable rod. Okay. And we call it the outlaw because we broke all the rules doing this because an authentic is not allowed to have that. An authentic is not allowed to have an adjustable rod. So this is the custom shop offering for this year, 100 pieces worldwide. The outlaw. I like the isn't name. That, isn't it's that a cool awesome? name. It's a cool name. Spectacular. Oh. And look, this that's usually the marquetry you find on a old D28 with the herring bomb. It's a gorgeous guitar. It sounds amazing. Pete, make sure you play this one later. One other, there's two other guitars I want to show you. Yeah. First, Taylor, if you can get a picture of the fingerboard of that black guitar, you'll see tire marks on it as if a, as if a truck, as if, a, as if a truck drove on it. Liquid metal bridge pins again. Is this for like Ast Turn it around. Aston Martin or just a Martin thing? <laughs> Whoa! You know, and this is our well. our show special this year. It's uh, Guatemalan rosewood. It's gorgeous. Look at the check out the heel, Taylor. Look at the carving there. So this guy George Bauer, uh, who inspired this guitar, was a contemporary of C.F. Martin. He made guitars in Pennsylvania in the 1800s near Philly. And we bought one and just basically were inspired by it. So, not many of these guitars. Well, what's the significance of the inlay? Is it just a pretty picture or is it? There is, is a, a significance. It, actually, the inlays were very limited in the 1800s because mm -hmm. they only could get pearl buttons. So it was much easier to make moons right. and stars oh, I see. because you take the basic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very, it's very so interesting. So you couldn't do the bigger thing. inlays is what you mean, right. yeah. Now the only other thing that I want to make sure you you Sorry, see. Uh, which, here you go. Thanks, man. Take two. The only other thing I want you to see are the new strings, all right? Titanium, okay? Titanium strings, really? Yes. Um, the core of these strings are actually made from titanium. A titanium core wire with a nickel wrap round wound because nickel and titanium are non-corrosive. They can touch each other without non-corrosion. We have a proprietary winding system on this. I've had a set of these, I was given a set to test eight months ago. Really? So it's not a coated string, it's just the fact that the titanium won't rust. The two non-wound strings are cryogenically treated stainless steel, the B and right, the E. Right. They're freaking amazing. Okay, titanium. I'm talking about titanium. I will forever be connected with this fabulous company. So if I see you when I do a concert in the UK, you got a question about a Martin guitar, bring it on, you know? I'll always love to talk about Martin guitars because it's the best songwriting tool you can have. The other thing I'm always gonna love about the UK my captain, forever my captain. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, well, look, good luck wherever your future takes you. I'll see I suspect you. I'll largely stay in, touch. in New Zealand on beaches, I would have thought. Yeah, you don't get this tan in New York in January, I can tell no, you. Or Guildford. Yeah, or Guildford. And 
stay tuned for a concert tour with Danish Pete and Sicilian Diane, all right? All right? All right?